Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Bicycle Network's Top 10 Phrases, Facts and Figures. Today we're going to a good question, the top 10 answers when people say bike riding is too hard. I'm sure you've all come across lots of people who are there thinking, I'm thinking about riding my bike, I might start, but they balk at the last minute. And there's a lot of twos they bring up. They say it's either too hot, too cold, or it's too rainy. They say it's too hilly. They say it's too far. They say overall it's too hard. So today we're looking at the answers to those questions and what you can say to convince people that it's time they got on their bike. All right, off with number 10. Now this is a Norwegian phrase, and as the Norwegians say, I'm gonna try speaking Norwegian here, de finis ik er dårlig var, badi dårlig klar. So I apologize to any Norwegians out there about my pronunciation, but what that means is there is no bad weather, only bad clothing. We often hear in Australia where people say, oh, I can't possibly ride, it's too cold. Um, one of our team members tells a great story about a Swedish lecturer who came out to Australia and the Swedish lecturer was saying, got everyone to put their hand up and say, who here has not ridden in Australia because they say it's too cold? Well, then she went on to speak about how that in Sweden she carries a cigarette lighter with her so that she can unfreeze her bike lock. And then she said to everyone, have you ever heard of gloves? So our first one is make sure you get your clothing right. On to number nine. Don't worry about rain. Your skin is completely waterproof. And here we look at Jerry Seinfeld, the great comedian. He tells a great little bit about people and their relationship to water. He talks about how humans are always looking for water. We're looking to go swimming, we're looking to bathe, we're looking to drink water, and how our bodies are made of water. But when we see little flying bits of water, we really panic. So rain, it's no big deal. So what if you get wet? The great thing about it is, afterwards, you can go home and have a nice hot shower. All right, on to number eight. It's only a hill. Get over it. And this one comes from Tim Badger. I don't really know who Tim is and I tried to look him up. And of course, whenever I tried to find out who Tim Badger was, what we've got is the Badger, of course, the great bike riding person, but hills. We talk about hills. People don't like hills. I'm one of them. Personally, I don't like hills. Even Burke Street in Melbourne, I do find that a hill that sometimes I think, oh, it's a hill, but it's no big deal. So what, get off and walk if you have to. And of course, down the other side is what comes up must comes down and there's a nice downhill waiting for you on the other side. On to number seven, one in three bikes sold in Europe are e-bikes. Occasionally we hear people say e-bikes are cheating, but they're not. You still have to get your physical activity. You still have to pedal the bike to make it work. They're a great solution. They're part of the future. And for a lot of people, when it comes to those twos, bike riding is too hard, an e-bike, is the answer. Okay, on to number six, part way is okay. Another answer to that question when people say it's too far, you can do multimodal. You can put your bike in the car, drive halfway, pull your bike out and ride the rest. You can go on the train. You could even do one way each day. You could ride into work, you could then ride back and the next day you get the train both ways. There's ways you can do this. There's lots of options and of course, you don't have to ride your bike the whole way if you find it too far. Number five, sweat is just fat crying. There's so many inspiring stories that I hear about people who have got on their bike and lost an incredible amount of weight. And a lot of the times it's people who have faced that incredible moment where they've had a doctor look them in the eye and say, you've got a limited number of years to live if you don't do something about it. Whenever I hear that story, I think that is absolutely amazing and it's an inspiration for the rest of us and any excuse we have to get on the bike should suddenly disappear. Number four, the hardest part of exercising is putting on your shoes. This phrase often comes from the world of running and we know that getting started can be the most difficult thing. Sometimes we're feeling lethargic and the thing that we think is counterintuitive is maybe we should exercise, but we all know deep down that exercising is a great cure for exhaustion because in the end, when it comes to what's gonna stimulate more, endorphins or caffeine, we know that the endorphins works much better. On to number three, more people end up in hospital from falling off furniture than a bike. When you look at the numbers and we look at the Australian statistics, it shows the number of people that fall off a bike each year, it's about 12,000. When it comes to the number that fall off a bed or a chair, it's about 14,000. When it comes to the number of people that end up in hospital just from slipping or tripping, 
it's 62,000. Bike riding is nowhere near as dangerous as a lot of people like to make out. On to number two. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford. Comes from a car guy, probably the most famous car person ever. We get this inspiration here that knows we can talk ourselves out of anything we want to. But by the same token, we can also talk ourselves into anything we want to. It's just a matter of what's going on between our ears. On to number one, make an effort, not an excuse. What an inspiring photo that is. And each year on one of our events around the bay, I know when I'm at the finish line, often I see a double amputee come across the line. He's ridden it for many years. And whenever I see that person, I know I bow my head and I really think, wow, what an inspiration. And I also occasionally feel a little bit embarrassment when there's been a moment where I've thought it's too hard. It's not too hard. It's certainly something we know we can all do. So that brings us to the end of our top 10 comebacks when people say bike riding is too hard. Hop onto social media, let us know what you think, and make sure you join us next time when we go into the how and we go into the top 10 pieces of advice for someone about to hop on a bike. Look forward to seeing you then. Yeah.